Hello, my friends. I have missed you. It has taken me some time to clear off enough space in my schedule to get the edit of this video done, and it feels really good to be here now. I'm currently not editing from my office in the cottage, and I'm going to tell you all about that, but I want to start from the beginning of the year. The start of this year came with a lot of snow for us, and it was really beautiful, honestly. People were plowing these ski tracks all over the fields in this town, so you could basically travel almost everywhere by ski if you wanted to. And one of my friends that is from here said that she hasn't seen this since she was very young, because it hasn't been enough snow to do this. Personally, I am not very good at skiing, so I had to enjoy the snow uh, without skis on my legs. But I still could really appreciate the beauty of people being able to travel around all of town only using their skis. I'm normally feeling a little bit scattered and kind of low energy at the beginning of the year, as I've talked about many times before. But this year I actually didn't feel like that at all. Some of it was maybe because of the beautiful snow that we had, and I think a lot of it was also due to the community that I've built here. For me, the best way to get through January and this winter tiredness that really starts to sink in is actually to spend more time with friends and family. Bringing in that social energy where the energy of the sun is lacking. And a really cool thing that happened in January was that my oldest little sister, Alva, had her first ever solo exhibition. <laughs> Alva is only 18 years old, but she's been working with art ever since she was a very, very little kid. And she was exhibiting a lot of different art from various parts of her life. She's always been very original and she makes art that's just not like anything else. It was so cool to finally be here in her first exhibition. I was obviously a very proud big sister. <laughs> this is the neighbor cat and he sometimes comes over to hang out and uh, Flint just really loves to be as close as possible to the neighbor cat when they are sleeping but he usually doesn't get to be like closer than this you know <laughs> so I sometimes feel sorry for him because he's like he really wants to be friends <laughs> but the neighbor cat is a bit old and thinks he's a bit irritating so this is as close as they get <laughs> Thank you. 
January was also a good month for this channel. First we reached 10,000 subscribers on here, which felt so cool. And then the same day as I was celebrating that, Jonna Jinton shared one of my videos. That brought a lot of new people to the community and all of a sudden we were at 16,000 people here. Thank you everyone for being here and helping me reach this milestone. And Jonna, if you are watching, thank you so, so much for sharing my video. It really meant so much to me. <laughs> there was no more time for celebrations though, because we were headed into February and we had another tour with our plant workshop coming up that month. So if you are new here, which I know many of you are, I thought I would tell you that Dendik and I work a lot with touring different schools and municipalities in Norway with a workshop where we teach plant knowledge and paper making. So we teach kids and youngsters about wild plants and their many uses and also we share a bit about how you can use plants as paper material and coloring material. So every year we apply for a program that is called the cultural school bag in October and around February we start to get answers back from the counties and the municipalities if they want to have us on tour in their own area. Some years we have actually toured five months of the year with this workshop and some years it might be only three or maybe just one. But it's a very important part of how we manage to live the life that we live here in the countryside. There's always a lot of stuff to prepare for these tours, so it takes at least a week to prepare everything. In the workshops we both prepare food with wild plants and we make paper with plant dye. So we have to bring a lot of equipment and also prepare the paper that we have to dye with. This is the header that we picked this um, summer. And I dried it and I've been keeping it for tours like this. And you can actually color with heather that is uh, just growing in the winter time, but it's a bit stronger, I think, with the flowers on it as well. And if you are curious about how I plant color paper pulp and how I create papers out of that uh, afterwards, then you should definitely check out my paper making course. I have it linked down below. I go through the whole process of making handmade papers in the way that we do it in the schools. And it's at 20% off at the moment also. <laughs> okay, that ain't going to. How many people out there do you think have like a rental car and they travel around with a bag of dried birch leaves? <laughs> Probably not very many. <laughs> you finished loading the truck? Soon. Yeah. This okay. is almost the uh, only thing left. Nice. So I actually get a lot of questions about where Flint is when we are going on tour and he is going to be here and he is actually usually here at home when we are leaving and our landlords, our neighbors on this farm, uh, they watch over him so he stays at their house and he's very comfortable with them he feels like they're family too I think because they are always around so he's used to them and 
they have two cats as well and he loves to play around with them and they can the other cats come visit here a lot as well so they stay in this house a lot too so he's very comfortable and he's definitely the best of being at home i think and this time since he it's a very special case with his leg and everything uh one of them one of the people on this farm is actually going to stay in this house with him so it's going to be even more safe for him and it's the best solution we could ever hope for actually so i'm really grateful for that but it's always like the saddest thing <laughs> leaving and we both like think about him all the time so i don't really look forward to it at all i'm gonna miss you so much yeah I was just speaking about you. This is one of the neighbor cats, and he is sometimes visiting. <laughs> Come in, my friend. He's a bit scared, though. He's one of the scared one. So it's definitely not lightheartedly that we leave him here, but we gotta make some money. We gotta work, so. This is just how it's gonna be, and I'm super grateful that we actually have the best solution possible for him. He gets to stay where he feels safe, and he gets to stay with people that I think feel like family. But, since someone is actually going to live here with him for the next five weeks, uh, we definitely need to clean up a bit in here. The worst part about this work is always leaving our home. It sometimes feels like we spend so much time building routines and daily habits and then we just have to take them apart and build something new again in another place. But I always feel so much better as soon as we arrive. And this time we actually asked if we could stay in an Airbnb and not a hotel, so that it would feel more like a home while we were away. Welcome to our home for the next few days, or actually the next two weeks. We have rented this really cozy place and I'm kind of stoked about how it looks. We have a fireplace. <laughs> We have a Bendik, which is of course the most important thing. <laughs> and yeah, we've already made a mess, but there's a very cozy table over here. With a view of the forest that you can't see. Out here there's actually a deck where you can watch the lake over here. And there's also a little kitchen, which is very modern for a cabin, I must say. It's very nice. And the best part of the of this cabin is actually this window here. This round window. It's so cute from the outside as well. And I'm really looking forward to making some food in here. It's going to be very cozy. We also have a very modern bathroom. And I'm not so picky with bathrooms, honestly, but... It's nice when you're on tour to have a good bathroom because it's important to feel a bit like comfortable. And then up here is where we will be sleeping. So it's a tiny little cabin, but the perfect size for us, I would say. Come on up here. I'm gonna go up by my camera. Yep. And Bendik has to be very careful there, I think, because it's going to be very low. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> careful. <laughs> so, this is the little bedroom. And it's very low ceilings here, but that's, that's cozy. And we have a window here as well. Yeah, so that's it. It's gonna be our home for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna show them how tall you are compared to this. 
<laughs> this house is not made for you, I guess. No. <laughs> I'll be alright. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Okay. I The municipality that we are staying in is called Svajo and it's on the west coast of Norway. Coming here was kind of like traveling to another world because suddenly there was no snow at all and so much wind. <laughs> it's a hailstorm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Even though it was really grey and stormy most of the time that we were there. It was really nice to feel the power of the sea again. And the thing I will remember the most from these weeks is the sound of rain on the roof of the cabin. It kind of became the soundtrack of our lives. preparing for the next part of the workshop, which will be the paper making part. And we just finished the, the cooking part. It's been going well. Having this permanent little cabin to stay in was really a game changer on the first leg of this tour. It was so much easier for us to maintain a routine and just feel more like we were living there instead of just feeling like we were traveling all the time. And it was important too, because after the school days, we also had a lot of work to do with planning for the next year of touring. Making some presentations for some of the counties and editing this video. It all felt just so much more manageable when we had some more space around us. I also made a little day in the life video that is up on my Patreon page if you want to check it out. I will link it down below. We are cleaning up after the workshop. How was today, Bendik? It was a good day. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Simple answer. <laughs> All right, we have finished the day and yeah, I am very tired. I think I'm just very hungry. So we're gonna head home and get some food. We had a last minute cancellation for tomorrow, so it actually means that we are free now because tomorrow is Friday and after that it's a school holiday, so we need to take a holiday as well since there will be no one in the schools. So we have a week off now actually, which is very nice. We've been touring for two weeks. Do you have anything you want to add? No. <laughs> To be continued. To be continued. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Second coffee of the day is the next best one after the morning one. And yeah, around this time every day we usually just relax for a little while. Just we have been standing and walking all day so usually my back really hurts because I haven't been sitting down for many many hours and yeah we're hungry and everything so we're just gonna chill and then we have more work to do after that so the work day is not really finished but the school work is finished for today and wow I can't really believe that we have a week off now which feels so nice we're gonna be in Bergen and uh, be with Bendix's parents and I'm gonna meet up with my friends. Hopefully film a little bit, maybe film a little bit in Bergen as well so that I can share something on my YouTube channel from there. Because it is the best and most beautiful city in Norway, in my opinion. We need to enjoy every detail that we love about this cabin as much as we can this evening. It's a wonderful thing with the work that we do, that we get to travel to so many places in Norway. But sometimes I do miss my home and my daily life, especially after last spring when we toured for three months on end. However, it's always really wonderful to be able to stay in places like this beautiful cabin and sort of find a home away from home there. It kind of gives me this feeling that I can build a life anywhere, and there is a freedom in that as well. I'm looking forward to take you to some other places in my next videos while I'm on tour and I am also celebrating hitting 16,000 subscribers by having a Q&A video uh, sometime very soon. So if you have any questions for me I would really really love it if you would write them down in the comments below. Sending you all my love everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>